but of course there was the the tweet heard around the world <laughs> that, that came out this week and this uh, is miyamoto <laughs> <laughs> i just i love that he did the same thing for the mario movie too like this is miyamoto <laughs> you know it's so it's good like... It sounds like he's being held ransom or right? something. Like if someone's, if someone's got like him in a basement and his family too. Like this is announce the Zelda movie. Announce it. <laughs> uh, um, but whoever captured this man, I don't know. Like some people might say thank you, some people might not say thank you. But the end result, we got a live action Legend of Zelda movie coming uh no time frame given but it the pre-production is starting and apparently this has been in the works for a long time so uh who better than of course goo and i to uh, to dissect and talk about some of the uh just some of the opinions floating around some of our thoughts about like where this can maybe be going um i didn't i didn't i'm not doing anything casting wise i think we can do that at another time if you are interested in that we did an episode about a year ago, uh, I think it was in October of 2022, where we kind of shouted out some casting choices and whatnot. So if you want to, uh, if you want to hear some thoughts on that subject, go check that out. It's in the archives. But uh, we're just going to kind of talk about the news in general today. But um, yeah, it's a live action Legend of Zelda movie. It, it feels mm-hmm. like I, I got to tell you, I'm like very surprised actually i thought that i thought that a zelda movie was going to be inevitable but i was sure it was going to be uh like an illumination zelda movie which i think you still could have done a a good illumination zelda movie but it, it, it seemed to make sense after nintendo purchased that studio that most if not all of their movies would would be going that direction so i was surprised but very pleasantly surprised that it's a live action zelda movie goo where were you what was your thoughts tell me tell me what was racing um, through your head i was i was only a little surprised because i because i felt like i think um i went i was trying to find like the last time we talked about the idea of this and i think i was i think i felt like they would probably do like an illumination movie as well um but I feel like when I heard the announcement, I felt pretty much the same way I did. I don't know if you remember way back when the Mario movie was announced. Mm -hmm. I think on virtual theater, you and I gave our reactions. And I sort of felt the same way as I did this, like seeing like so far, like what's I feel like it's like basically like the live action sort of equivalent of an announcement to the Mario movie where I was like, seeing the names attached and stuff, I was like, okay, like, you know, I, I I didn't expect them to, you know, pick something or, like, go with people or whatever that would be ambitious or crazy or whatever. So I was like, okay, like, it sounds... I don't know. It's like... I don't know. I'm just kind of like... I was kind of um, whatever about it. <laughs> Not, I'm, I'm excited to see it and talk talk about it and stuff but like just seeing like some of the names attached and stuff i was like okay this will probably be like a a very normal like maybe I, I agree. N- a not interesting movie <laughs> yeah i agree we'll we'll get into we'll get into some of that specifics in a bit i i think you're right like i think it's gonna be i think it's gonna be fine at worst and potentially like really good at best um, yeah so so yeah, so the the infamous tweet, this is Miyamoto. I've been working on a live <laughs> action film of The Legend of Zelda for many years now with Avi Arid, who has produ- produced many mega hit films. Um which is which is actually true. He has produced a lot of mega hit films. Uh the quality of the films is is all over the place, so I do want to yeah, talk about that. Yeah. It's hard with the producer to yeah, really get an idea cuz that's usually not the more creative end of it though it can be it definitely can be but it can i don't be, really think it is in this case i don't think so either i i think i think that i mean the producers are usually like the money people like they come up yeah. with the money they come up with the promotion and stuff like that that that's what it seems like to me is is uh his role in in this particular production but um 
But yeah, like I, I feel like I feel like when I heard the I was actually at work when I heard the news, and um, you know, I was I was really excited. Like I, I think that this has the potential to be like pretty pretty cool. I mean, does it have the potential to to be lame? Yes, of course. But I don't know. I was I was like a glass half full. Definitely. I I was I was really excited. I was um, I was yeah. excited about the possibility too of like making a lot of like new Zelda fans. Even though I think like. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom have kind of done that already. Like they've, you can't say that Zelda's niche anymore, or or even like a little bit niche. But no, like, yeah, like a movie, I, I think I, just I, brings in a lot of other people too that might not necessarily have have watched the movie. So I was uh, I was excited. Um, I I mean we know so little about the movie that it's it's hard to be kind of one way or the other. I think. Um, but yeah, I I was uh, I was pretty pumped when when I heard the news and. And uh, I was like, I can't wait to talk about this on uh, virtual theater. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Um, that's what I'm mainly looking forward to. And I, honestly, I, I went back and I was listening to us talking about this. You and I talked about it a long time ago, and and we're pitching movies. And I and my reaction, I immediately thought of it because I've always thought like when people people are always p- pitching like their fan casts and their fan directors and it's always like when i read them i'm like okay that's fun to think about but it's it's like this is not going to happen and i think even our uh one of our uh staff members sean pointed out like like the zelda franchise like to adapt as a movie it's not like people aren't like i'm sure there's a lot of people excited about doing it including the director they have but it's not like a big project that i'm sure a lot of people are like dying to do you know so i Mm -hmm. I, it was never gonna be like whenever you would see like we even talked about it like the idea of like gear model toro doing it or like someone we view as like a a a, like skilled filmmaker skilled filmmaker you know kind of lends itself to that yeah it's like i never felt that that was realistic and i remember pitching like travis knight because of the kubo movie and he also happened to do Bumblebee, which I saw at the time. And I always thought it would be someone like that who is like their job is to like come in and make like a, yeah. you know, a IP <laughs> type movie. And that's essentially how I feel like what they're going with now. So I like I, I didn't want to seem like a Debbie Downer because it was like they announced it. I'm like, OK, yeah, that's that sounds about like right. And so I think if there are people who are maybe let down. That it wasn't like it's not like Guillermo del Toro. I was like, I was yeah. like, maybe that that was sort of like always a fantasy, you know. Well, I, like I want to let, let's talk about it because I want to talk about the yeah. the fan reaction as well to this because um, yeah, I, I like I saw a lot of people just being like, you know, kind of talk about the director and be like, oh, this is ridiculous. Why wouldn't they get like Peter Jackson to direct this movie? That's, that's another one I said. I was like, it was never, it was never going to be that, you know. That, that's what I mean. Like it, it, it's. That, that was never going to happen. It was never on the table, unfortunately. Um, so He's working I, like, with, like, archival footage of, like, yeah. the Beatles and, like, World War One. Like, like you know, like, I'm not trying to sound mean to Zelda, but I feel like he's got better things to do, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, like, as, as much as, as, you know, we can sit here and say that Zelda's not niche, and I don't think that it is, like, it, it's also not, like... I don't think that a lot of like, especially creative directors are, are lining up to attach themselves to, you know, to, to a video game movie for, for lack of a better term. Like, you know, those, those are almost because it's almost like the type of directors you'd see in like the MCU are probably the type of directors that you're going to find attached to a project like this or a project like, you know, mm-hmm. any, any video game movies going forward, or even like the, the, the type of director that you were talking about. Like, I feel like our boy, Paul W.S. Anderson's like the, 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 prototype of yeah. that kind of director right like and that's kind of who i was thinking would be not paul w specifically but like someone in that mold would probably get the reins here which is exactly what happened um so yeah but i i did see a lot of of fans like a lot of fans like very very down on the idea of a zelda movie being being made uh, like including like zelda dungeon people like a lot of of our staff um a lot of our staff is very, I guess, down on on the idea. And, and, like, I get why. I get why. But I was a little bit dismayed to see a lot of the fan reaction, I have to be honest. Um, because 
I just like I just think that like I don't know like I I can't we just be like excited for it and 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 think that this movie has the potential to be like really cool <laughs> like really like really good like yeah it could end up stinking and it could end up being uncharted but like it it also could end up being something really like really special like really just kind of I don't know something that exceeds all expectations and I don't know yeah like I like I get it um I get it why people would be dismayed but maybe it's because of our journey on virtual theater that i'm just kind of like you know what like these video game movies their reputation isn't really well, earned and like this could be awesome yeah that's even i was listening back we had just started and we're like oh video game movies are bad so but i've i've actually come around now where like we're we're getting to the point where everyone's convinced like they were bad and now like come like like the mcu like they were good. They're good now. People used to think that, like all the comic mo- movies before, not all of them, but you know, there was a run of bad ones, and then they figured it out. Um, and as we've gone on, I feel like with video game movies, that's becoming the, you know, the tides have turned. Your Detective Pikachu's and your Sonics or whatever. But you know, as we we somewhat recently covered like the the Sonic movies and rewatched them again, I'm like, you know, an Uncharted we watched. Uncharted. And we were obligated like, to watch. It's like I don't know if that's true. I think they've they found kind of um, uh, a formula, and the marketing has they've gotten good at marketing them, and people are more accepting of them. But I feel like some of my favorite ones have been in the like eras that are considered like the bad times because they are they are more of these like weird kind of ambitious <laughs> movies in some ways, you know. Um, so I don't know. I I'm of two minds of the like the attitude you're talking about, like, cause I can, I can pretty easily understand. Like, that's how I felt like mm-hmm. seeing the writer and director. And I'm like, yeah, that doesn't like, it just doesn't sound like it'll be good to me. That's my, that's just my reaction. I can't really like help that. And I don't feel like I should like pretend like I don't feel that way because someone else is excited or whatever. I'm excited to see it or whatever. But then on the flip side, like the being just being really upset about it, it's like, I mean, I love Zelda, obviously, but I'm just I'm not precious about the franchise. Like they can make they can make just like the the they can make an offensively bad movie. And I just I wouldn't care. You know what I mean? I might enjoy it, actually. Yeah. But, you know, what I mean, like the worst outcome of this to me that I already can imagine of what I think it might be is like an aggressively bland movie. And even if so, it w- I would. I'm not. I'm not mad about it. You know, I just. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Well, I don't let, have... me, let me make sure that I like. I again. I get it. And, and if you're if you're not excited about the Zelda movie, <clears> like, <throat> I, I feel like that's completely valid. Like every every reaction yeah. is completely valid, right? I just. I, I don't know. I, I was kind of hoping for a, just a smidge more optimism that maybe they could pull this off, and maybe that's <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's a, I'm trying to will it into life or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, um, but yeah, yeah. like it could happen. I, like you, you do you do look at some of the names attached to this, and you, you know it, it's it is underwhelming a little bit. I think at first glance, um, mm-hmm. so like I I get it, but uh, I think that there like I also think that there is like a at least some people I saw on Twitter that just like th- this could have been the greatest movie ever, and it it, it would have been good <laughs> enough. You know what I mean? Like. Like, yeah. it's just like they just didn't want this movie to ever happen because and you know what that that's fair like everyone has an idea of what yeah. Zelda is to them what link is to them uh what you know it, it like everyone is kind of <laughs> everyone is kind of attached to their version of what they love of the series and and a movie is different it, it like very much gives you like a different like a, a more defined like someone else's vision I guess of what it is where it's like you can't yeah. necessarily make it your own as much <clears throat> I will say I I will agree with what you just said and I was I was just talking about this on the Zelda cast top 10s where like I I think like to, to kind of put everybody's minds at ease a little bit I hope this does anyways I think movies they're, they're like they're too good now to be bad like these big budget movies when I say bad I, I'm talking like bad in the sense that people traditionally think that they're like you know these awful movies with like awful directing awful cinematography you know go down the Mm -hmm. list i think that it's like (laughs) movies are movies are too good to be bad like especially Mm -hmm. big budget studio movies they're they're too good to be bad um i think you're right like the worst thing that this movie could be is just like incredibly bland and mediocre and uninspired 
Um, yeah. The Uncharted movie comes to mind when I think of like the worst. <clears throat> that's like, I think the worst case scenario for this movie is it's, it's basically like the Uncharted movie except with Zelda. But even then, like, I don't know about you, Goo, but like, so obviously I, I hated the Uncharted movie. Mm-hmm. And, but when I talk to people about Uncharted, I feel like there's a lot of people that are like, you know, I, I feel like that movie was fine. Like it, it was, it was that's, fine. That's what I mean. Is like, <clears throat> I, there's a similar opinion you see people say, and I, I feel like well, there's a similar opinion you see about um, the MCU, or at least you did a while ago. I don't really talk about it as much, but um, there's this idea of like, oh, the worst one is like a seven. You know what I mean? There's this idea of like, even even at their worst, they're like they're just yeah. There there's no no like they've they figured it out to where there's no what's our um green lanterns or whatever you know what yeah. i mean but like we don't and same thing with video games now i think you're starting to see that style of filmmaking come in where it's i don't know it's almost formulaic to the point where yeah you're not gonna get your uh hitman style <laughs> garbage or shame, whatever by the way but in my opinion i i like in my opinion that's almost worse like i I sort of like I get what you're saying, and I and I think it's that's the idea behind it all. But the the too good to be bad thing, like mm-hmm. I think it's made it so like I don't know. I I don't want to. It's like an old man yells at cloud thing. If but you it's were like, going to go on this rant, I was going to go on this rant. So please go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like then there, there's almost nothing great. It's all it's yeah. all become like slush a little bit to me, <laughs> you know, where it's just like. I, I, I nothing really rises above. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, like I, like I agree. We've had this talk on virtual theater many times. Like I and, and personally, I would rather a movie like go for it and fail and be bad than just kind of mm-hmm. play it safe. And but I I don't know if necessarily a, like a, a, like a lot of people share in that. And and I'm not. How do I put this? Like. I, I think that's fine. Like, if you just want, like, a solid, good Legend of Zelda movie, like, I completely get that. Um, and I think that's what it'll be. Like, I think the MCU thing that you're talking about is, like, there's certainly a formula. You know what movie always comes to my mind is Captain Marvel. When I think of a bad okay. MCU movie that was still good, you know? <laughs> like, like the, the like it felt very yeah. uninspired, very kind of, like... Because we're, like, 20 movies into the MCU at that point. And, and it, it, just, mm-hmm. it was, like, it was every... It was checking off every box you'd ever seen in the MCU. But, like, everything, like, you know, it was still fine. Like, it was well acted. It was competently directed. It was competently shot. It's Like, it, there's there's a few ha-ha moments in there. But, like, it, it, like, it was like eating, it was like eating a McDouble, you know? It tastes good while yeah. you're eating it, but you kind of, you're going to spend some time on the toilet after a little bit, like, getting it out. Um, and I, and I, you know... If they did that approach with with the Zelda movie, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because then you 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 know you kind of have it where it's just like it's gonna be you have a you have a minimum bar that you're probably gonna hit and but you're probably not gonna go beyond that either you know yeah and I think that's yeah like, I think I that's what we're both kind of getting at yeah I mean that and that's always been that's why I'm like I'm always like self conscious about sounding like old person yells at cloud because that's always kind of been the thing with certain <laughs> like like big you know spectacle movies is like you know oh these are like the fast food of movies but now it's like i watch that's why i feel old because i watch i watch like speed or something (laughs) comparatively to like captain marvel or whatever and i'm like this is like pure cinema like this is (laughs) like holy cow (laughs) yeah i like so uh, i think the thing (laughs) is is that i would imagine that I, I like I would probably imagine that this movie is is going to be that if 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 I have to like even the Super Mario Bros movie right like that was a safe movie it was very like by by the books like very exact yeah you know it, it played the hits but like at the end of the day like it was a, it was a fine it was a fine movie it went down easy and like that that was probably good enough right but it, nobody's gonna sit there and say like that was a like a, a truly great movie. Maybe they will. I found, I, my, I found myself feeling like this is a solid like like six movie. Like and and then sure. it, it it like massaged up to a seven because 
it was it was like oh it's like it's, it's like mario for, for, it's for kids and there's you know fun little mario stuff so and and again at the end of the day i was like oh it doesn't matter you know so i was like yeah it was an, it was an enjoyable experience and i think Ze- like the zelda will be like that too but yeah it'll be it'll be interesting to see there's a couple like factors that could factor in like obviously like it, there's some room to move you know <laughs> there are yeah. elements that could make it th- horrific or even like hey this is pretty sweet but i do have like sort of a, a mid expectation of like a solid six or seven out of ten kind of movie you know i i was kind of the same way i think like i think the mario bros movie and like like the the latter mcu movies are like good examples of what i think this movie is going to be like a very safe very by the books like a, a nice origin mm-hmm. story tidy it, like people will leave the theater feeling feeling good that they haven't watched a bad movie but they may be not just like i haven't watched like lord of the rings you know like or whatever and, i like i i feel like that's fine like i i get that personally i would i would hope for like a little bit more like going for it but but if you do that there's mm-hmm. a potential for it to fail which i i i understand like and that's what that's kind of my i think this movie is gonna be maybe it maybe it won't but like i i feel like i feel like it is and i get that approach um it's yeah. not which is why i was kind of just like i think that fans maybe like shouldn't I, I don't want to tell anybody how they should feel or not feel but maybe just like fans like i i think like at worst like this is going to be a mundane fine movie and like i think a lot of people think it's going to be like the absolute worst movie ever made and i just i just i don't think it i don't think it could be that you know yeah yeah i i agree i i think at the end of the day i, I like part of me is like oh like well my you know people should temper their expect but at the end of the day i was like they you just do do what feel however because yeah. i think I think for a lot of people, I saw rea- like I saw some people reacting like the Mario movie was like the greatest video game movie ever, and I'm I'm like I was trying to think hey. of like what about it worked for them, and I and I don't you know I don't want to cast the aspersions, but I was like I think it was because there was like nice Mario music and like references to things, and they yeah. felt nostalgic, and I'm like okay, you know like. I don't know, maybe someone else could convince me otherwise, but, you know, I think if the Zelda movie does that, I think it doesn't really matter that, like, for a lot for a lot of people, like, if it just checks a couple of boxes and... Yeah. That, that's it, fine. That, exactly. <laughs> that That's exactly the point I'm trying to get. Like, I, I think that it's going to be... I think at worst, you're going to be like, well, that was fun. Like, it, you know, they yeah. didn't butcher it, right? Like... Um, and, and, you know, we, sh- we should probably acknowledge, too, our, our taste is maybe a little bit skewed. Uh, you know, we, we, not a lot of people out there have a lot of love for, like, some of the classic video game movies, like, <clears> necessarily <throat> you and I might. But, um, yeah. yeah, one thing I will say, one thing I will say is going back to this being live action, I, like, I do respect that because I, I actually think that that's an instance of kind of going for it a little bit, right? Like, I think it would have been really easy and really safe to make, like, an animated ghibli like movie and um and i think it would have been really good but like i i feel like i feel like there's something inherently just i don't know like like more big time about seeing like a live action adaptation for something than than an animated one which i'm not trying to say one style of movie is better than the other but like you know like i think lord of the rings sticks out as like such a quality adaptation because it like that movie really went for it um Mm. so i I kind of respect that. Like, I think there's more opportunity for this movie to fail because of that. But I, I do think that perhaps there might be more opportunity for it to exceed expectations because of that as well. Yeah, I I think, like, it's only, like, only slightly more <clears throat> uh, or slightly less, like, safe. Like, I do only because I think, like, I don't know, like, there is a bunch of, like, live ap- action adaptations of things now. Um between like there's like you see like the anime or cartoon stuff like on netflix they've got like the one piece and the avatar and then we've had all the slew of like disney that's live true. action things yeah i think there it's been like that's another thing where I've, i was like they've cracked the code of like public acceptance and like they've got it they figured it out how to do it and so like that doesn't even seem like like a 
a cha- an ambitious challenge to me anymore you know so right. um but yeah i don't know i'm i i i'm looking forward to it in live action though i, I think uh to your point about it feeling safer i think i would like if it wasn't if it wasn't incredible i feel like i would be more forgiving of it if it was like animated and more like more for children i would be like oh you know it's a yeah. it's a nice little kids movie where now it's like there is some like I don't know. I, I mean, it's still probably going to be for all ages, you know. But it, it will have a little bit less of that uh, charm, <laughs> I guess you could say. Like, I, I think I know what you mean. Like, like when you're watching the Mario movie <clears throat> and like uh, I need a hero comes on or whatever, you're just like, oh, this is lame. But like, you know, it's a it's an Illumination yeah. Kids movie where I don't. This movie I, is I, not going <laughs> to have that. Uh, Though well, you know, I think some needle yeah. drops would <laughs> be fun. <laughs> On your take on me in there, <laughs> get some new metal. That's what we need. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, that would that would be cool. Actually, like uh, I have sick new metal track when Link's fighting Ganondorf. Um, let's talk about that actually, because I uh, I saw a lot of people also kind of of the opinion saying like like how are they gonna do this? Like you you can't fit you know you can't fit the Zelda series into a two hour movie. It needs to be like a like a ten episode Netflix series or whatever, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. I, I would prepare. That's what I mean, though. People are so precious with this. Like, they think yeah. that... And, and, I mean, these games are epic and stuff, but, like, it's... it's. I don't know. It's not... I don't think it's that way in the public consciousness, like, as much. Like, I, th- I think... I expect this movie to be under two hours long. I don't know. I could be, I could be way off. No, I, it, it, yeah. has, it has to be. Like, I, I would think so. May, like, maybe, maybe two hours, but... Uh, this is what I would prepare people for. Um, like this, this is not going to be like a like a one to one adaptation. It, it's just, there's no way. Like first of all, Link is obviously going. He's he's gonna talk. Like that's. I saw a lot of people right. just being like, Link shouldn't talk in this movie. And it's like, other than Wally, I can't think of a lot of movies where you have a, there, a character, a main character who doesn't speak. There's just so many conversations of how are they going to do this? How are they going to do this? And. Like, I don't, again, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, so I usually don't chime in, but I want to just respond, like, what do you think the most normal thing they could do will be? Yeah. That's what they'll do. So when, yeah, Link talking, I'm like, yeah, they he will just talk like a normal. People are like, people are, uh, will fantasize about like, uh, you know, oh, they're going to tell some deep story about how he's a silent protagonist. I'm like, no, they're, no. they're probably. He, he's just going to talk. With this being said, maybe oh, who knows? Maybe we're wrong about everything, but I feel like it's gonna be very Ugh. right down the middle movie. Like nothing's gonna surprise you. You know, you're. I don't think you're gonna walk out of being like, wow. I think they really like, um, you know, honored the silent protagonist Link and like really mm-hmm. flesh that concept out. You know, I. It's it's gonna be a very it's going to be a story you've probably heard before and seen before in other movies and in Zelda, you know, there's, I don't know. Yeah. Th- that's my next point is like, I saw a lot of people talking about like how, how they're going to fit everything into a movie. And like, and like the thing is, is like, they're not going to right? like, this is no. going to be, it's going to be, I, I would bet money. And if I'm wrong, you can bookmark this and, and come back. Like I'm going to bet money that this is going to be an origin story, a hero story, like the hero's journey kind of story. It's going to be an, an original ish story that might, you know, it might take a few things here and there from, from some games. Yeah. Oh yeah. But like, you know, this is, it's going to be like, um, it's going to be like Batman begins, right? Like, and I'm not saying quality wise, but like that movie kind of told the story for a new audience. It, It introduced the character to people that don't know him. It took some elements from comics here and there, but it was it was like its own story. It didn't connect to anything else, and that was fine. And and, and that was a good movie. And I would suspect that's exactly what this movie is going to do as well. And to, I mean, for proof, you really didn't look further than the Mario movie, right? Like that doesn't that doesn't tie into anything. It's not adapting a particular game. Yeah. I mean, not that he, not that you have these these world stories to you know to bring to the silver screen in Mario, but like I I think anybody that's just like looking for the on-screen adaptation of, like, Ocarina of Time, I I, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I no, really don't. I, th- I think you'll probably see a framework, like, of, like, kind of a mishmash of kind of the 
event way back on our old episode I, I mentioned like the concept of like the mount rushmore of zelda <laughs> i think it'll be like based off of the the big things in zelda like in in the public consciousness you know and then obviously it's gonna have a ton of easter egg like that's like required now good yeah. like for the articles you know so it'll have a million easter eggs from every game you know like you'll see the lady from triforce heroes in the background at some point oh, you know stop that stop that <laughs> but it, it'll probably be like yeah you'll see it it'll be like the familiar yeah. like reoccurring you'll see maybe like kakariko village and stuff like that stuff that's in yeah. a lot of the game you like know I, I i i feel very confident that like that being said like you're i think you're right there's gonna be like a ton of like if you're a zelda fan like I think there's gonna be a lot of stuff for you to be like, oh, oh is that Majora's Mask on the wall? Like, is is that like, uh, I, I don't know, is that the That's what I mean. time? It's, like, you know, it's gonna be a story that'll go down easy, and then you're yeah. gonna be on this. It's gonna be like you're on this lazy river, and there are gonna be uh, little references popping up, and you get to go, oh, I know, I know that. That's the, the right. aliens from Majora's Mask, and, and that's there's the, a Mai Mai or something. <laughs> yeah, like, that's yeah. what I mean when I like. It's gonna be. It's going to be too good and too slick and too, like, polished to be truly bad. So, like, I guess I would say, like, to anyone, you know, worry that this movie's going to stink. I just, I I almost don't think it's even, like, possible. Like, especially if you're a Zelda fan, which, listen to this, you must be, right? Like, there's going to be so much, like, Easter eggs. That, like, the story could be mundane. The Everything could be mundane. But I, I there's going to be stuff for you to just be like, oh, cool, 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 cool. And and leave the theater like satisfied, you know, I, I, maybe satisfied in a I just ate a McDouble kind of way, but but satisfied nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm not uh, again, I'm not saying that that's like like the best thing, but I, I I would bet money that that's what it's going to be, and I would bet money that it'll feel a lot like. I really think it's going to feel a lot like an MCU movie, to be honest, like the the latter MCU movies where it's just like. They've got their formula. They've got their checkbox. They're gonna mm-hmm. they're gonna get a competent cast and crew. Everything's gonna be competent, and you know it's it'll uh, it'll be like Bumblebee, I think. <laughs> you know, I, I, you was know? Gonna, I was gonna say it, it might almost be like like Assassin's Creed, the movie. No, no, that's bad. That's really bad. But, but I that's think like there's the worst I, case scenario. I think. Right? I th- I think there is a realm where that is one of the possible outcomes, for sure. There's definitely some factors. I don't know, like if like there's things that could change, but I think that's one of the possible realities. It's like it's like yeah. Assassin's Creed, but that would be that would be even that would be worse than not satisfied. That movie is actively like like grading and i think there is there is an outcome where they they make a movie that's like oh this is kind of this is kind of tough to watch you know but i think that's not as likely i think it'll be more of like yeah okay it'll be like eh. i would i would still take assassin's (laughs) creed over uncharted just saying Uh, although that's 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 a very same ballpark but but again like i like assassin's creed more than uncharted so maybe that's why i don't know um i can't i can't even compare them i don't even want to but I I, like I, I think that's like your worst case scenario <laughs> and i think your best case scenario is um you know what you know what someone threw out to me as like a cool like example of like a best case scenario that i think this movie could be did you ever see What's that? the chronicles of narnia the lion I, the witch in the wardrobe not since i was young i don't remember anything about it okay so so that movie i mean it's it's clearly like it's like a B version of Lord of the Rings, right? Like, but it, but that's fine. I think it works for that movie. That movie, I think, mm-hmm. had like a lot of heart. It had, um, you know, it obviously had a smaller budget than like Lord of the Rings, but in, but it was the same kind of thing. Like you're adopting from this huge world, this huge mythology, and you're you're making it condensable uh, and and easy to go down for an audience that has no idea what the hell Narnia is. I think in like your best case scenario. I, you could do a lot worse than the Zelda movie kind of matching the Narnia energy. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, I think that would be like a good goalpost for them to kind of, to kind of look to. Um, Cause I think, and, and, and that movie too, by the way, also had a director that people were just kind of like, oh, I don't the finding Nemo guy. Like what? Like, oh, I don't know about that. Oh, okay. And yeah, like, I, 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 I thought it was a very competent, very good movie. Like back in the day, I haven't seen it in a long time. 
But yeah, um, yeah I, I think like best case scenario, you're going to see something <clears throat> like that where it's like an, an adaptation that's that's competent, exceeds expectations and kind of leaves you just being like, you know, that was that was like really good for what it was. I think if I think mm. if you can leave the theater saying that you've you've done your your job. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this clip and want to see more of the Zelda cast, make sure to head over to your favorite podcast platform of choice and subscribe. There are over 200 episodes in the vault that will provide you with hundreds of hours of Zelda content for you to enjoy. You can listen to us when you're on a walk, fighting Ganon, trying to sleep, whatever. And if you want to see these shows as they happen, make sure to head over to twitch.tv forward slash the ZeldaCast where you can watch our beautiful faces talk about Zelda every single week. Don't miss out, and we'll see you next time.